All right, folks, got another Howard Miller wall clock in. Uh, I don't know what the number on this one is. Everything's been removed, but uh, it's got another one of our favorite movements in it. All right, so this one has been destroyed by the previous owner. He came in, he tried to fix himself, so. But it is one of the Hermley 2115s, 2215s. Uh, and we're going to replace it with one of our harmonic movements. They do not make these movements anymore. I, I think I keep on seeing a couple of them online that uh, I don't know if they're new or not. But anyways, we're going to replace it and I'll show you what we're going to replace it with. All right, so we're going to replace it with one of these. that We just, we just ordered a bunch of these and uh, test them all out and they're doing great. But it... It's just like the 2115s, 2114s, and then the uh, Keenegger ones play Ava Marie or Ava Maria uh, Westminster. You can do quarter hour chiming or just the hour chiming. Bim Bam, also you got uh, night off, 24 hours on, and then off completely. Got volume control and all the switches that I'll go through another time on another video. Uh, these are not quite as loud as the... Um, Rhythm harmonics, they have the Christmas songs on them, but, but they're still good. Um, they're loud enough. I really enjoy them. I've put in a couple of them in my clocks to uh, see. But anyways, let me show you how this particular clock comes apart, and we'll put this movement in there. All right, so the way this movement comes out is, I keep on getting my finger in the way, is you've got this back up here. If you got this piece right here, and... It's attached to the door. There's the door that swings. There's the body of the clock. Um, so we're just going to remove these screws, and then this whole plate will come right off. Then we can get to the hands and the nut that holds it on. So let me get those taken out, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So I got that piece out, and this is all it is. I put the uh, whole clock over there somewhere, so I won't have to worry about it. But uh, that's all it is, and uh, what we're going to do now is just get the hands off, get the nut off, and then get the movement pulled out. All right, so to get this guy off, just like all the other ones, we are just going to take this nut off. And the hand will come right off. Put a little bucket so I'll move our hand when the mint hand comes off, our hand slides right off. Alright, on these movements, you've got this funky looking nut, and they actually make a tool. I've shown other people on uh, other videos. This is basically what it's gonna look like. Okay. Um, but they make a tool to go in there. And take care of those but you don't need one just get your regular screwdriver slide it into one of the slots and then just turn it and it'll come right out and then you're gonna have a washer which will save and then we'll have to turn it over and it's gonna have double-sided tape on here so we're gonna have to just reach in there and kind of start prying it be careful so you don't want to you don't want to uh tear up the face this face is just a piece of cardboard um start to come up here so that's it that's the old one and in the garbage it goes and now we'll get the other one to be to put in its place. Um, get this adjusted a little bit. All right, so the other one is going to go in the exact place, like so. We'll get it glued down. We'll get it taken care of, and. Uh, see uh, about getting it tied down so it's just going to go in just like that 
And when we sell these, they come with all the hardware. You'll have a nut that's going to go on, actually a washer that's going to go on, and then the nut on top of that. So let me get those on, and then we'll show you the next step. All right, guys, I'll try to keep my hands out of the way. But anyways, so <laughs> make sure you put the pendulum hanging down by the six. Um, I've made that mistake before. So basically what we've got is a little rubber washer. We're going to sit on there. And that goes on. The speaker's kind of in the way. Um, then I've got a washer that comes with the kit. And we've got a nut that comes with the kit. Um, it's best to use that washer, but if you can't get your movement sticking out enough to get it like this one I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a get it started yeah we got it started so all right so you want it sticking out enough to get it started be real careful on this part so you don't scratch your face um, it's gonna be hard to patch it if you do or, or fix the scratch so all right so that guy's on there tight and now I'm just gonna set him to where it's straight. Oh. Hang on, somebody's coming in. All right, I wasn't happy with that one. Um, even though I had the rubber gasket on there, it was still sliding around a little bit. So what I plan on doing on this one is I'm just gonna put a couple little drops of super glue and mount this down and then I'll put the nuts on but I want to make sure that this is as level as I can get it, or not level, but um, even with the clock, because you don't want it. If it's sitting in here crooked, then the pendulum won't swing correctly. So you want to get it as best you can to be, uh, I guess, horizontal with the uh, top. So let me do that first, and then we'll move on. All right, guys, I just want to show you. I just put a little glue in the corners. I didn't want to, didn't want to go crazy um, in case I had to take it back off again. But all I'm going to do is set it in there and then line it up, eyesight, just the best I can and make sure it's straight. Okay. So the glue's still drying, but it's on good enough. And now we'll go ahead and put the washer on and the nut. Got a little bit more to bite. So I think we're okay. All right, so there's so many different ways to mount these speakers. I mean, it is the original way that it came with that little white piece you see there. But um, where the hole is on the old one, where the hole is on the plastic, the old one right there, that would go through the hole and kind of hold it a little better. But that's holding it just fine. And uh, got those screwed in. So the speaker's in, the movement's in. And I, I forgot to mention earlier, um, Make sure you have the hands chiming exactly at the top of the hour before you go mounting everything back. Um, because if not, you're going to take everything apart, especially if it's behind a you know piece of glass. This this one's relatively easy. You just hold a, a couple of screws holding on, but some of them get to be kind of a pain. So just make sure that uh, it um, is ringing on the top of the hour. All right, and we'll put the pendulum on it and hang it on the wall, and uh, we will see what happens and hopefully this thing's gonna go home tomorrow everything looks great it's chiming right it's keeping good time this little guy's gonna go back to the owner's home tomorrow uh, if you guys have any questions any comments please leave it in the comment section down below and please like the video and also subscribe if you would so we can keep these things going um, if you have any questions on the comments down below I try to answer everything. Also, if you uh, have a particular
question that you want me to show you on a video how to do, I'll be more than glad to do that. So anyways, I'll put a link down below where to get the movements and uh, hope you all enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching.